Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I'm back to post a quick video here. This is going to be a response to Vinyl Fury, D-Man, his 1,000 subs contest. Um, I mean, as always, I want to start by congratulating on the 100, I'm sorry, on the 100,000, on the 1,000 subs. Um, really kind of blew my mind for a second when you were talking in your video and said you basically cross your two year anniversary and it's just guys it does not seem like that man I mean, it seems like I just met you a couple months ago but you know the more you think about it it has been two years and and of course it started to make me think about how long I've been around this thing and just how uh, mature the VC is becoming so man two years thousand subs congratulations absolutely great fantastic to have you as part of the VC and I'm uh, more than proud to say that I'm one of your 1,000 subs. So, oh, and by the way, if I'm talking a little bit funny, I bit my tongue earlier. Really kind of killing me over here, so I'm kind of like keeping this part of my mouth a little bit still. So, uh, <laughs> that's what it is if you see me kind of talking a little bit funny. My mouth moving a little bit weird. But anyway, two very good kind of quick to the point questions. I'm... I'm going to say cheating, but I'm answering the first question a little bit differently. Um, the first question was, was there any albums that you kind of saw in one of your videos or experienced in one of your videos that I've really been, in, you know, enjoying and became a part of my collection and so forth? Um, and this is one that kind of came up in the process of one of your videos, even though it wasn't so much you playing it, but more of kind of conversation that took place. And it's this one here, Sepultura, again. And I don't remember how it came up in conversation, but something revolving around me liking the band, me wanting this album, and then you sharing with me that it was at a local store that you had, and you kind of uh, just went through and hooked me up, plain and simple. So this is actually kind of some VCLT that I received from you. Matter of fact, hold on a second. I keep it right over here. I keep all this stuff around my music room. This was the insert that you sent inside the package. Today you sent it. And uh, I've had this sitting right up on top of my 8-track case over there for, well, since you sent it to me. So I guess it's probably been over a year now, I think. Yeah. So uh, I still have that kind of hanging up here in my music room. But, uh, yeah, like I said, we started chatting that day, and, and you jumped through a few hoops and really hooked me up with that. And so this is definitely the one album that every time I spin it, uh, it always makes me think of you and will always have your mark on it. So, really appreciate that, man. And you had a second question kind of built in there, too. And uh, the second question was basically talking about our favorite record stores, like our favorite record store like in our neighborhood, in our, our city, kind of you know near us or whatever. And... We actually have three different kind of major stores here in the area where I live. And there is one that I kind of claim as being the best store, but I'll kind of run down the other two first just to kind of mention them because they are good stores. We have one store here called the Record Exchange. I label that store as the, I call that the $8 record store. That, that, that's what I refer to that store as. Uh, it, it's, it's huge. I mean, they have a ton of stuff. Like, the guy just has so much junk just stacked up to the walls. It goes on forever. But it's pretty much the store where there's not necessarily some rare total grail that you're, gonna, you're not going to really go in there and find that. But it's kind of that one $8 ACDC record that I just can't seem to find anywhere else, whichever one that might be. And that's typically the store you go to to find records like that. It's just a ton of $8, nothing special, but maybe, again, something you just had a hard time finding a good copy of, or a copy of, even though it's really not worth any more than seven or eight bucks. It, it's, so, so I always refer to that store as the $8 record store. I think that's probably the third best store here in uh, where I live. Second best would be a store called Euclid. They have really good new vinyl, they have a great jazz section. That's probably the, their biggest thing. And um, But for the most part, when it comes to new vinyl, that's typically the place I'll go to look for any 
any new releases that I'm searching for. So I always refer to that as the, the new vinyl store, because that's where I get most of my new vinyl from. The But what I would, to actually answer your question, I think the overall best record store where I live is a place called Vintage Vinyl. And I say that because I think Vintage Vinyl is probably the most complete store in terms of having pretty solid jazz section, solid rock section, um, solid blues section, and just kind of like all the different sections are pretty decent. Decent CD collection, very decent used vinyl collection. Um, they have a little more of a mixture of personnel that work there. there. There's more people on the floor consistently there than the other two stores. So you tend to get more of that, you know, the guy that, that has seen you the last 15 times you come in. So, hey, how you doing? You know, recognize your face. Uh, have you checked this out before? You get more of that kind of interaction. Where the other two stores, you're pretty much, until you go to the counter, you're pretty much on your own. There's not a lot of, you know, back and forth and that type of dialogue. And um, I think that's one thing those stores are really missing, too, because that... That's almost the, I mean, that's a significant part of the fuel to me of a used record store is the dialogue that you can engage in with other music lovers. Then you have to necessarily be vinyl collectors, but just other music lovers. And so I know for a fact at this vintage vinyl place I consider to be the best store, I've bought a lot more music there off of recommendations and suggestion of staff than I have at the other two places combined. Because over there, there's just no staff on the floor interacting with you, saying stuff. Or even if you put a record on the counter, that they, they don't go, oh, if you like this record, have you checked out, you know, this band or whatever else? Um, you just, you don't get that stuff with other two stores. But this Vintage Vinyl, you, you do quite a bit. So, overall, Vintage Vinyl is probably the, the best store in my city slash neighborhood. Um just because of the, the overall selection, again. So, uh, anyway, there you go, man. Again, D-Man, congratulations so much on the 1,000 subs. Um, I'm sure there'll be many more to come, and we'll be right here when you're ready to do your 1,500 subs video. All right, so take care, my friend, and we will talk to you soon.